folks, my name is Kate. I'm a yoga teacher inspiring a nimble approach to a joyful practice. And today I am here with day 19 of your 30 days of transitions. We are going to talk about moving from warrior two to triangle pose. This is a very, very simple transition. I've just got a, a few things that I want you to keep in mind to protect um, your knee. So before we get into the pose, I want to talk a little bit about hyperextension of your knees. Now you may think I'm not flexible at all. There's absolutely no way that I hyperextend my knees. That's just not true. Um, flexibility and hyperextension don't um, always go hand in hand. Okay. So I am very hyperextended. So I'll show you what this looks like on me. It may not be look exactly the same on you but if we just take this okay this leg so this is a straight leg you can see my knee is not kind of collapsed backwards and this is hyperextended you can see it's kind of going past straight and we generally don't want to hang out in that position because it's very, very bad for our joints over the long term. And in triangle specifically, it's very, very easy to settle into that front, um, settle into hyperextension in that front leg. So I'd recommend whether or not you're hyperextended to grab a couple of blocks. I'm going to just keep them so that they're readily available. Go ahead and make your way into your warrior two. So remember warrior two, we're in a straight line. So this front heel is lined up with a back arch. We're going to bend this front leg. We're keeping everything nice and stable still. Okay. And bring our arms out into a T. And then all we're going to do to transfer um, or transition into triangle pose is we're going to hinge this joint here as we straighten this front leg. Okay, so I'm going to tip myself over until this front leg is straight. I've got length through this bottom side. And then I'm going to bring this arm down and we're going to open up the chest. Okay, so number one. Your arm doesn't reach the floor. Grab your block so that you can really ground and open the chest here, okay? That's one of the huge benefits of this pose. You get a lot of core work by opening your torso up and letting it extend nice and long. And you lose some of that benefit if you're kind of crunched over like this trying to reach the floor. Okay, so go ahead and prop yourself up. Tailbone is moving towards the wall behind you. Okay, now this front leg, say you're feeling kind of wobbly in this front leg and you're tempted to let it sink back. We're gonna use our other block. We're gonna wedge it under our calf move this so you can see. So I can actually press into this block with my leg to get a little bit more stability. And then I can use my other block to ground because my hand doesn't quite reach the floor. Okay, so I'm going to get then back to my warrior two. And that's it. Okay, so we're straightening this front leg as we're shifting our hips back, set up a block underneath your calf if you need it. Set up a block on the floor if you need it. Open your chest. And that's that. So let me know how that feels for you if you use props and triangle, how you use props and triangle, and I will see you guys tomorrow.